Lee Kelly and Gary Turner talking everything taxis on the LNG podcast. Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be asking the vital and important question with the escalating fuel costs now, unbelievable levels of fuel prices. Will people start to use taxis a little bit more? It's a bit of a sticky situation. It's one, it's one of those ones we were didn't know whether it's all about. Obviously, the cost of fuel price sounds like one pound sixty-eight a litre on diesel up here in the northwest. I don't oh. know what it is around the rest of the country. What it is on on leather, I think it's about one sixty-one. I think at this moment in time. So, what we're trying to say is, is are people going to now stop using their cars and use taxis a lot more, which is going to be great for us, um, or are we just going to be having a serious lag in business over the next few months? And also, do you think some drivers now will look at the fuel costs, especially drivers who are going to, going to come on you and think, I won't come on at the minute because the cost of the fuel is so high. Maybe it's not worth coming on just yet, you know, till the prices go go down a little bit. I, I want to know as well. Also, is is it still with these smaller companies? Have you got less drivers and have more drivers actually so like going to do different jobs. careers, jobs, or have you all just jumped ship and gone to Uber of late? I don't. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Don't know. So, I, 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 do, do you know what a lot of people do now? I'm doing it now more and more. Is um, like the Uber Eats and the Just Eats, the Deliveroo's, the, more people are doing that now. And of course they're doing it on them electric bikes. So they're making good money out of it. And a lot of drivers I know an Uber came off Uber during the pandemic to go and do stuff like Uber Eats. And, uh, and they've done okay with it, you know. So it's, uh, yeah, that could be the good way at the minute because of the fuel costs, the way to go a little bit. It just, it just seems like one of those things now, I mean, it, 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 this is a, a dangerous situation that was all like talking about and whatever's going on in Ukraine, we hope every, it all gets sorted quickly and somebody really puts a bullet in Pune's head. Uh, that's just my thoughts though. Um, but obviously it's like they hold all the cars near enough and it, with the price of fuel and barrels of oil going through the roof, is it going to be sustainable for us in the future? You know what I mean? For a lot of people, households, you know, is it going to get busy for us? Is it going to get slack for us? I, I can't believe as well how much oil comes through Russia. I never knew that. I thought all come from OPEC. I thought all came from Saudi Arabia, but so much gas and oil comes through Russia. What did they say? Something like, like 70% or something of it goes through Russia. Or, 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 it's, 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 it's nuts. So yeah, so if Russia stop, if we start sanctioning Russia, we stop taking their fuel. Which is why we're saying, you know what I mean? Because this is going to make everything go. I mean, we've already got fuel prices going up in the next few months uh, for your gas and electric. You know, you've got obviously now diesel and lead going through the roof. It's like, where's this actually for, for working families you know as taxi drivers you know we're trying to sort of like do the best that we can for our families we don't know where it's going to play out for us and the cost in the future of, the cost of living crisis too isn't it the that's, cost of living that's, way that's, that's going to start now what I do you know what's going to happen I, last today I was speaking to a financial bloke and um, and he told me that this year or next year especially could be heading for a recessionary times and what does recessionary times do for this job puts loads of drivers on remember, remember 2008 remember 2008 2009 Two, 2008 2009 10. I was a bus driver so I wouldn't, oh, I, I wouldn't I remember it you, the job just if, if anyone was driving back in 2008 2009 2010 you would have known like the, the job just dropped like a stone it was the most depressing time to be a cab driver saying that that happened about three years ago I think it was about the same oh. well no Covid <coughs> Covid hit. There we go. That was that, yeah. that was that was a bad time. But like the second, because we knew why the weather dropped off because of Covid. But back in the, back in two thousand and eight, when we had the the credit crunch, then the weather just dropped off. Just after the blue, just dropped off, and and there was no. It just seems one thing after another. I mean, we've had this Covid crisis. The job went bad uh, due to all the restrictions and everything else. Yeah. 
and then you just get through it and and then it's like all of a sudden we've been hit with something else but, but isn't that life though isn't that just like life this just a series of problem isn't it are we are we just go should we just go back in history just a little bit okay so let's just let's just think back about a hundred years ago there was meant to be sort of be a pandemic back then which was the spanish flu what happened then a few years later after the spanish flu was we had world war Two. it just seems like history is repeating itself but oh. in a quicker scale this is just scary times but for all we're doing it is sort of from a from a worker's point of view I want to know am I going to be able to afford to run my bus am I going to be able to still have passengers getting on how is it going to be for us obviously we don't know what's going to happen in the future we don't know where we're going to be in the future I just want to know for the here and now what's going to happen and I don't think really, until this whole thing with Russia gets sorted out we're in sticky times and, and all, it's all it's going to take is something someone to have a go at, at Russia like someone like if we say say because Poland are vast as now will we consider putting putting planes up over over and, and have like a no fly zone over Russia we're going, we've gone from a taxi podcast vlogging podcast now to a political well, we can, podcast we, we can yeah. we can do that what happens it's going to take if if they hit one of the allies as they put it i think that's the only time we're going to really go into and that wade in with them and that's world war three and that's world war three so because if, if we were to shoot down happy a, times a russian plane happy times on this podcast then we're in world war three and then it's nothing because we're in <laughs> nuclear war and then nothing matters then then we're okay all he's gone really t- way too f- uh, I just said let's just see what happens in the future we, you, you, brown right brown. now he's just yeah you put us down yeah. brown bread so let's just it. enjoy our lives hi let's just enjoy our lives because like wonderful great we don't know what's around the corner well the pandemic tours is we don't know we don't know what's around the corner we do know we what's anyway we do, we do, we do. but you know <laughs> we, we could be we'll be, we'll be blown a bit <laughs> in a few in a, in a year's time right. so we or thought we thought we'd we'll be in a recession ourselves. yeah this is like a survival manual for how to survive the next few months do you, do you remember do you, do you remember cnd when I mean, they were going in the 80s the threat of nuclear war remember the frankie goes to hollywood song two tribes was all about nuclear war with russia and america you know they had uh, was it gorbachev was it uh, and they had reagan ronald reagan no like, i think it was i think oh, who was it it was i, I, I don't think it was gorbachev was it was it meant to be some, i think it was meant to be someone before oh, was, gorbachev. It, was, was it it was it was before gorbachev i right? forget now i forget who it was brezhnev i don't know brezhnev was it um no I think but we don't know Russian history but, but just do you remember, do you remember like in the video for two tribes yes they were they having were, a good punch like, they were like having a boxing match in, in a ring you know when two tribes go to war um, obviously a good channel to listen to while you're so like man. out is listen to absolute 80s I do all the time I listen to absolute great 80s great channel yeah. for that one uh, so, so, yeah. so yeah so so basically folks what we're trying to say is this we're still going to carry on with the vlogging podcast as much as we possibly can and we hope that you still keep on watching the videos but obviously this was one where we we were thinking about this and going well this has got to be beneficial to some people especially if you're coming into the job right now um bad you time. Know, well actually is it a bad time to come into the job you might be is coming in at a bad time, time or you might be coming in at a good time is because it a bad time has the work dropped off have you noticed the work dropping off i, I think the work's actually so like picked up since since the media have suddenly come out and said that all restrictions are now I think the way it's picked up yeah it has um do, do you still wear a mask in the car no i don't i don't wear a mask in the car and i just think that you know well there might be people stop there who still do so okay that's your choice do, do your customers still wear a mask in the car some do some don't i can't say to them you don't have to wear one if you don't want to um but that ship sailed it's about east of the own, isn't it that's what it is east of the own. but um no i just think that now with the way things are if people are going to start leaving the cars at home yes may well do yeah yes you can still get the bus yes you can still get the train um but i'll always still say that getting a cab is probably the best thing to do well well, sometimes it can work out a little bit cheaper as well you know know, if you use the car especially if you're going into like you you go to a city you have to park your car all day and you're like the fuel costs and all that sometimes you're nipping a cab in and out um come out a bit cheaper you know in the in over the week so make sure that you use your small local taxi firms for all those ones and don't use these big conglomerates 
You mean the, the app? Media the app people, ones. like... The app based ones. Like Uber. Uber, Uber yeah. oh yeah, Uber massive now, huge. What was use a hackney cab? Use a hackney cab or a private hire, except for Uber. Um, and also Uber, I'm t- gonna turn a profit this year, 50% profit rise forecast they've done. Uh, it's gonna be good, holiday basic pay pension, still very strong. Pension out every, well, this week went on Monday. Uh, pension went on Monday this week, nobody goes on a Friday. Uh, every Tuesday, holiday pay in the bank, uh, no problem at all. The only way to do now, the company which gives drivers back and drivers still moan, but you know, if you give it you a don't know Gary by now, folks, uh, look back on previous vlogging podcasts and you will see the fact that he literally flogs Uber. He's like their salesman. I just like at it. Moment, I just like it. Even though I, I did got, I got my very, very first one star rating last week. Ah, <laughs> did you really? My first ever one star rating. Yeah. Oh, this is even what for? Just. A bloke, I knew he was going to one star anyway, so I, I gave him one star too. So it was just, um, oh, he, he, wanted, he, wanted, he, he wanted to like eat in the car. I'm going, oh, I can't do that. He wants, oh, why? Why? He wants to do Mac- Okay, I go through McDonald's drive through with people, I don't mind that. Uh, I, I go through for them. But I thought he was going to go through the drive through and then just go to his destination and get out and eat it in his house. No, he wants to eat it in the car. He, wa- he wanted his milkshake. You know, he, he had his milkshake perched on the seat behind me. And he and he just got laid into his burger and chips and uh and I thought you can't do that, no you can't do that. Why, 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 why? And I had a little moan. And then he got out in the end he didn't eat it, but he got out and of course and I saw the one star coming, he's, he's gonna give me a one star. And he did. I come up on, on the app one star. Does that mean now you're only a four point nine 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 rating? I'm now a four point nine eight. Oh four point nine eight. Forget all the problems with Russia and Ukraine, this it's that's, the that's, the real that, problem. That's, that's the real problem now folks is the fact that he's got a 4.98 do you know what one time i used to worry about it but i, I don't worry about it now i think oh, I, used to, I used to take he's, it as an offense he's I, lying I, I, used to, I, used to, I used to sit back and go what have i done what have i done but now i'm bothered now if, if you get it yeah but doesn't drop any lower like you think you know if it drops lower you think what, what am i doing wrong but generally i'm not bothered if it's 4.98 that's good enough for me who could possibly give you a 4.98 you know what i mean and you know i mean that's 4.98 i mean who could go around and actually call you a bastard as well no people do <laughs> <laughs> more than one person more than one person so oh, calls me that. oh god yeah. terrible <laughs> terrible <laughs> who, could, who could who could actually go and call you a bastard quite a few do <laughs> quite a few do quite a few uh, yeah yeah quite a few do so listen folks all i'm going to say to you is this to anybody that watches this not only obviously in britain but around the world if you are over in the european side of things and please all stay safe over there um and let's hope we get this thing resolved quickly and safely i hope so that's it for the energy tax podcast for this one stay tuned for more podcasts vlogging podcast vlogging this isn't this is a podcast not a vlog no i know but the thing is you've changed the title that many times that oh, you've yeah. got it down as the lng taxi vlogging podcast yeah, yeah, whatever it is whatever it's called um, give us a subscribe if you haven't already done so and we will see you on the next one. Or be well, be safe, bye bye. Bye bye.